All right, uh, so let's keep working on example one, our, our uh, goal programming example from week seven. Uh, and so we just set up our goal programming model. Now let's go ahead and solve. Uh, and so here I'll use LibreOffice Calc, uh, but the solution will be identical if you're using uh, Microsoft Excel. All right, and so what I've done in LibreOffice to help get started is I copied our table and then I also defined um, all of our variables. So we have um, minutes of radio, minutes of television, and then our deviation variables for goal one and for goal two. And so I listed them all here in a single row because when I, um, when I use solver, I'll need to be able to select all of the variables that I want to potentially change in, in one false swoop. Okay. All right, and now as normal, right, I'm gonna go and I'll start Actually, let's let's go in normal. Let's start by um, creating a cell with our objective function, and then we'll summarize all of our um, constraints. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and, and solve. Okay, so my objective. Okay, our objective is to minimize the sum of d1 minus plus d1 plus. So d1 minus plus uh, d2 plus. Okay, so I to minimize d1 minus and uh, D1 plus. So and this was our labor constraint. So we have uh, 10 people. Okay. So let's do constraints. Okay. And I'll label label them. So the, um, let's see, the number of people required. So X1, number of minutes of radio times assigned employees per minute for radio plus uh, X2 number of minutes for television times the number of employees per minute for television. Okay, that needs to be less than or equal to 10. So that was our labor constraint. Next, we had a radio constraint. Okay, and so our radio constraint, so number of minutes of radio is, is X1 here. That needs to be less than or equal to six, right? We can use it, have at most six minutes of radio time. This first goal uh, constraint, this is our um, budget of $45 million, or, or our goal of being exposed to at least 45 million people. Okay, so this is our exposure goal. Okay, and so that'll be X1 times, um, so here's our exposure parameter for radio, plus X2 times, here's our exposure parameter for television, plus D1 negative minus D1 positive. Okay. And then uh, the right hand side is 45. Okay, and then next we'll have our budget goal. So X1 times our budget parameter for radio plus X2 times our budget parameter for television plus D2 negative minus D2 positive. We're comparing that to 100, right? Because we want to be um, less than or equal to $100,000. And then the last constraint we had is just non negativity, which we put into solver. So now as I go to solver, okay, our goal will be to minimize our objective function by changing. Okay, so this again is where I put all my variables in a row just to make it easier for me to well make it so I can readily highlight all those. And then our constraints, we have our labor constraint. So the amount of labor used has to be less than or equal to uh, 10, the amount of labor available. Uh, radio, right? We can use at most six minutes of radio time. And then our uh, goal constraints, these are going to be qualities now, right? So our exposure goal is equal to 45. Okay, budget, likewise, this is going to be an equality. So our budget goal, okay, so that's going to be equal to uh, 100. All right, so when I use solver, I, I could have just typed in the values here. I like to reference them just so that if I were to do what if uh, type of analyses and change these values, 
um, that I know I'm all set. Okay, so within my solver, um, I'm going to make sure I have the checkbox to assume variables are non-negative. So if I do that and I solve, it says that it was successful. Okay, cool. Um, so our objective is five. Okay, so now keep in mind what our objective is here. So our objective is our deviations from our um, exposure goal and then also our budget goal. Okay, and so here uh, we have a deviation of five. And so if I look at the value of my variables, okay, it says that um, we'll have six minutes of radio, two minutes of um, television. Okay, now let's look at D1 minus and D1 positive again. Okay, so if I go back to our problem statement, okay, D1 negative, okay, so um, our goal was to hit at least 45 million um, viewers, right? So 45 was our floor. So D1 minus tells us how far below that floor we are. Okay, so I notice D1 negative is, is 5 and D1 positive is, is 0, right? So that tells us that we have, we're only hitting 40 million viewers, right? We're 5 million below um, our goal, okay? And then, you know, again, keep in mind, right, D1 negative is um, 5 and D1 positive is, is 0, right? So um, how do I want to say this, right? So both of them aren't positive, <laughs> right? Um, one is 0 and one is positive corresponding to being uh, below my floor in this case, okay? As compared to when we had slack and excess variables, we need both of them so that we can have the situation in which we can now be above or below um, that goal. Okay. Then likewise, when I look at um, goal constraint two, so this was our ceiling, so our budget ceiling. So remember D2 negative meant how far below that budget ceiling we were, right? So our ceiling was set at $100,000. We wanted to be below that ceiling. Okay. So D2 negative would tell us how far below that ceiling we are, where D2 plus would tell us how far above uh, that ceiling are. Right? And this is included in our objective, what we're trying to minimize. So what we find, D2 negative is 4. That tells us that we're $4,000 million or $4, under um, our budget goal. Okay, and so we want to make sure we'll, we want to make sure we're below $100,000. So we're $4,000 below um, that that ceiling, um, and so we're not you know above the ceiling at all because we're below it four million dollars. Um, so objective uh, is five, right? And that's a matter of um, we're five million below our exposure goal, um, but we're actually you know. $4,000 below our, our ceiling uh, set for our budget. Okay, so D2 is zero, which is the actual value in our objective function. Cool. So then our exposure goal budgets, exposure and budget um, goal constraints are all uh, satisfied as equalities because we required them to be um, equalities. Then interestingly enough, radio and labor are both uh, satisfied by equalities. And so this would come back to you know, we'd pose this question, what if here we had said that we're going to use all available labor? All right, what if we were to take our uh, this first constraint and instead make it um, uh, x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 10, right? Because, you know, what this is saying is we have 10 employees. We're going to, we can't use more than 10 employees, right? We can use as much as, we can use at most 10 employees, um, to carry out this task. Um, but, yeah, I mean, you could just as well set it equal to 10. You're going to make sure you're using all 10 employees. Um, I relaxed it and just left it as less than or equal to because we're not told necessarily that we need to use all 10. Okay. Um, but, okay, that that's just how I set it up. Um, here's proof that if you were to make it, you know, equal to 10 in equality, that um, it would be the same. All right, so then... If we were to look at part two, part two just asks, you know, what if um, our exposure goal is twice as important as our budget goal? And so all that would happen is if I were to copy my sheet, okay, so if I create a part two, okay, so my objective, okay, so um, 
D1 negative that corresponds to my um, exposure goal. So what I want to do is just double that. Okay, so if I do that and then resolve and, and everything should be all set up in solver. So I haven't changed anything. Keep the result. Um, we get this and it looks like yeah, it's the same answer. Okay, all that's changed is my um, ejective value is now double because I um, doubled the weight of my exposure goal, and that was the only thing that contributed to my ejective function in the first place. Okay, and you know you could keep playing what if scenarios. What if my exposure goal was ten times as important? Um, so if I were to minimize this, you know, do we get to a point? Um, so far, it's not getting to a point where it actually changes things. So if some big number. So it seems like in, in this case, where if I were to weight how important exposure is uh, relative to, um, what do you call it, relative to budget, that it doesn't seem to um, change things at all. Okay. So there you have it. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.